walked into the Golden One Center last night. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, you know, to have fans when we're running out at 17 on the clock, like everybody in their seats, everybody standing, that was special. Ever, ever seen an environment like that? I mean, you've seen playoff basketball, gone to the Eastern Conference Finals, anything like that? Uh, closest was MSG, it was similar. Um, but no, that was honestly better. How about outside the building? I mean, we didn't, I just saw the video, but again, that was just the impact. It was, we were looking at it after, after the game. I uh, had a couple family members send me it, but that was just crazy, just how many people. What about the Red Velvet tributes? Like, have you seen one that sticks out to you the most that you like? We laugh. It feels like, you know, the second half of the year, it felt like every arena, like there's somebody wearing a headband and a red wig or something. Uh, so it's always a lot of fun. You see those guys in those jackets all the time up there? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sean's <Sean's <laughs> main. Now, there's a guy outside the, the, the arena, literally in a full herder uniform. Like a really? big version of you. Yeah, 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 it's pretty funny. He tried so to sneak in the building, <laughs> say he was you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. How, how do you, what's your take away from last night from the game? I mean, uh, to come away with that victory and, and play the way you did, what, just kind of what stands out? Yeah, I mean, you know, getting the first one's obviously huge, um, especially at home. You know, it's something that we're supposed to do. We have home court. We're supposed to get the first one. Uh, that environment, you know, obviously the fans being there, it's big for us moving forward. But, you know, we know it's going to be a long series. What have you been told uh, as far as tomorrow game? What have you been told to look forward to any changes that the Warriors make? Yeah, we don't know. You know, we're just we're watching film. Uh, we're trying to get better. We're working on us, not really worried about what they're doing. Well, what'd you make of what you make of the way De'Aaron defended, particularly given all the energy that takes, and, and that he still was able to carry a pretty heavy offensive load too. Yeah, it's really tough. Uh, you know, it's no secret how much Steph moves in their offense. It's a big part of what they do. Uh, I thought Davion came in and did a good job on him too. But you know, Fox just being able to expand that much energy, especially that first and fourth quarter, and he'll be able to produce force offensively is uh, super important. Kevin, is there a positive to take away that you and Keegan and even Domas didn't have your A game in that in that one, but you guys still came out with a win and there's a lot of room for you guys to grow? Yeah, for sure. It's uh you know, that's been our thing all year. You know, we have talked about how deep our team is all year. You know, Malik Trey was huge for us, Davion coming in A land. Like our bench has been a big part of why we're sitting in the position we are. So uh, I think that's what makes us so dangerous. Hopefully me, Keegan, a little bit of Domas, he'll you know, pick it up next game, but you know, we're a good team because we got we got a lot of guys we can play. Speaking about Alex Lynn, what, what do you think about his performance coming in to help you guys out? He's huge. Just honestly, you know, defending the rim, you know, his presence in the paint is huge. He's someone that he gravitates towards the paint, you know, just deflecting shots, being a big presence. Uh, you know, his minutes, his offensive rebounds that he gets for us, cleaning up the glass, just a nice change. Uh, what would you see in how they were defending you, the triple handoffs and everything like that? Like, what kind of adjustments do you guys think you can make with that to get that going a little more effectively? Yeah, you know, we kind of expected that, then try to take away our movement. Um, you know, really top lock and send everything down the court. You know, Looney and, and Draymond were standing in the paint, uh, just trying to make it hard for us to come over those DHOs. And honestly, it's something we expected. Uh, so we just got to be better, you know, a little bit faster in our movement, a little bit more physical. Just try to get open. And I know physicality was a big talking point this week for you guys. Do you feel like you guys came out with that physicality in game one? I think so. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we started the game great. I thought we ended the game great. Uh, we're going to have to do it all series. Was Keegan your mental toughness much. put to the test at all? Of course. You know, it's a long game. It's a rigorous game. You know, the timeouts are longer. Uh, you got to be locked in. You know, these guys, it feels like every time you relax, they make you pay. So you got to be locked in. Keegan doesn't seem like a typical rookie. I mean, his composure is almost like a vet. Do you feel like having the game experience that he did is, is in having the group around him will kind of keep him in the right headspace heading into another game? Yeah, you know, he's not phased. You know, he's, you know, this type of experience is invaluable for him. You know, the speed of the game, the, I think the atmosphere, and um, you know, obviously their offense, the caliber of team that they are, this is huge. But you know, he's not phased. I'm sure he'll bounce back. Kevin, just how difficult is it to defend those two guys on the perimeter? It seems like you, you can play defense for 20 seconds, and then they take a half step back and throw up a laser. It is. You know, it's more mentally. You know, it's as physical as it is, and you're chasing these guys all game, and you expend a lot of energy. It's it's mentally being locked in. It's like you said. It feels like you know when you relax for just a second, they get an open shot, and they make you pay a lot. So um, it's really an all game thing, really a whole team thing. We're throwing a lot of different bodies at those guys. Um, but, you know, we got to be really effective on it if we want to take away this series. Kevin, do you feel like the, the pressure maybe has taken off a little bit now that you have game one under your belt? Or do you feel like it, it kicks into high gear now? To you know, I'm not sure if we felt pressure. You know, we're supposed to win game one. It's on our home court. You know, we're three seed. Um, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to win next game. You know, they're a really good team. We know what caliber of team they are. But, you know, we didn't really feel, I guess, a sense of pressure going to game one. I think there's an anxiousness to get back out there after a week of sitting around and you wanting to play in a playoff atmosphere. But, you know, we did what we were supposed to do.
Kevin, what is HB's presence as a veteran leader, and also, especially in this series, having knowing those guys and having played with them in the playoffs, mean to this team? I yeah, know. you know, he settles us down. Um, he has all year. You know, it feels like in, in different games, he's especially on the road, different environments. He's he's a vet. He's seen everything. He settles us down. Even to start last game, you know, starting off the game with a steal and going the other way. It, um, he, he's just different for us. Plays at a different pace than maybe the rest of our team plays at. Just um, it's huge to have him. Kevin, the shots you got during the game, were you comfortable with them? Did you like doing this, or was it something they were doing to you? Yeah, you know, they you know, they tried to limit my touches for sure. You know, they weren't really in much help. So it was, uh, you know, the looks I did get just wasn't able to knock them down. And um, just trying to get more, you know, find myself, try to get open for this offense. I think my movement, being able to get open, opens things up for other guys. Uh, so just going to continue to stay aggressive. But, you know, like I said, I think you know, their game plan coming to that was take away our movement, a lot of our DHOs and shooting. And um, in a lot of ways, it was effective. We just got to be better. Kevin, with the big right, sagging right. off at Domas, is there a counter for that where you can make them pay if uh, because they are, are sagging off so far? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of different counters we can throw at them. You know, stuff we've worked on um, that I'm sure we'll, we'll try out the rest of the series. All right, thank you.